We can get there. Let's uh let's go ahead and move on to the Kansas City Chiefs. And I mean, what what is there to say? I mean, you know, they went 12 and 4 last year. Andy Reid moving into his 8th season. Uh offensive yards per play last year 6.2. That was number 2 in the NFL. Defensive yards per play 5.4 is what they gave up, which is almost exactly what the Broncos did. Now, if you get into the details, they were number 14, Broncos were number 13, uh, which is just good enough if you have a fantastic offense, right? Which is exactly what you need. Just a good enough defense to get you off the field and, and get your offense back out there. Turnover margin was number eight. They uh, they gained .4 turnovers per game. Uh, Mahomes, ton of weapons. You know, you got Kelsey back. You got uh, 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 Miko Hardman. You got Tyreek Hill. You know, and now Damian Williams opts out at running back, but you brought in Clyde, man. You brought in your boy Clyde, and I think he is going to be fan friggin' tastic. So I, I think the offense, that ain't nothing to worry about here. I think you're going to be fine. You kept that. Uh, <laughs> Monster X Gaming jumped in and said, "What a coincidence! Your title starts with nine seven and proceeds with the Tennessee Titans." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, he said, "Nice shirt, Mister Chris." So, and Matt Miller said, you boys are getting that work in early. Yeah, it's Labor Day, man. We got stuff to do. We got things to do, man. Uh, so, it, they signed Chris Jones to an extension on defense. And I, I think with that and with the players that they've got on defense, the defense is going to be just good enough to be able to make a significant run at another Super Bowl. I This seems dynastic. This seems like a dynasty in progress. As long as you've got Mahomes and you've got weapons and you've got a good enough defense, I, I think they're going to be great. Like, I, I've got them at 12 and 4 because I think, you know, you're going to lose some games. That you don't. They got just a tough go, schedule. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough schedule. And they got to play the Bucks. They got to play the Pats. They got to play the Ravens. They've got a tough schedule. Yeah, so you're going to lose games because they are already at a point, kind of like the Pats, where it's like, okay, we need to win more than we lose. But not every game is the end of the world, and we just need to get to January. We've got the exact same record. I've got them twelve and four as well. I, I, Andy Reid's done this long enough to know that that sixteen and zero is insane. It doesn't matter. It doesn't help you. Um, you just need to win enough. You want the bye week. You want home field advantage. You want them coming through Kansas City in the cold, and and that's all you want. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's it's just the way the way this thing's going to go. I, I think this team, you, you laid it out there. This team is all about Mahomes. If Patrick gets hurt, he got hurt last year, missed a couple of games. They did okay in those games. But if he goes down, they're not going to, they're just not going to keep rolling. Okay. And we need to be real careful about dynasties. All right. Oh, yeah. Out, outside of basketball. Okay. And even in the NBA, you still have guys that fall off pretty quickly. But, Every time a new team wins a title, we immediately start saying, how many are they going to win? And, you know, the Eagles won that last Super Bowl that that wasn't a Patriots win. And everyone immediately started saying, oh, and they did this with Foles. What are they, how many are they going to win once Carson gets back? It's just, this doesn't happen, guys. It dynasties. We're spoiled because we saw the Patriots go on the run for the last twenty years, and everybody thinks, "Well, it's just that easy." Well, well, here, it, hold on. It what what constitutes it ain't a happen? What what constitutes a dynasty? Is a dynasty like five years, or is a dynasty like twenty? What, what right? do you think the over under on the net, the amount of Super Bowls that Patrick Mahomes will win, knowing that he's got one? My over under would be two and a half. Do you think he would go over that? I, I think he could get to three. See, I don't. And the only reason I said it's not a knock on Patrick because I think he's one of the most exciting football yeah. players I've ever seen in my life. It's just it's really hard. It's really hard to win Super Bowls. <laughs> I it's agree. It's really hard. The fact that Bill and Tom made it to nine and won six is obscene. It's alien-like. Yes, it's, okay? a, it's absolutely It's not absurd. supposed to happen. No, I agree. I agree. Hey, by the way, you brought up over-unders. Uh, their win total for this season is 11.5. To go over is minus 150. To go under is plus 120. And to win the division, they are minus 350. I mean, that is significant championship. I've read significant uh, uh, odds to win a, a division yeah. title. Uh, you pay, you just, yes. Matt Miller jumps in and said, um, oh, no, 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 hold on. We'll start with this. Matt Miller said, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is getting drafted in the first round in fantasy. Yeah, he... he 
probably and should I think, be. And I think you should. Yeah. I absolutely think you should. I'd take him. I I have and would take him number one overall. Um, I, yeah, and I, I think I, he's I gonna. I think he's gonna be in the conversation with all those guys. Yeah, I think so too. I, I mean, if you're if you're if you're taking Alvin over him, you, I think you're wrong. Oh yeah, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Dude. I mean, if don't, he's not if he's not there right by now. four, you're 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 just letting it go. Uh, Monsterish Gaming said, "Could they be unbeaten at Arrowhead?" Okay, yeah. Could they win eight games at home? Sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Uh, Matt Miller said the division defensively is good as well. I don't think there isn't a defense that's worse than uh, worse than average. Yeah, uh, I would take the Raiders being below average on defense. I mean, they were pretty good. Well, no, they weren't. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> In my head, I was like. No, nah, Raiders. I watch, right, I watch but, that football team. Yeah. They made plays every now and then. They got some playmakers, but they don't scare me. No, no, no. They're no. not a team that I'm not worried about. They're, I mean, they're what, not. Uh, can we say tenth? If you're not a top ten, if you're not in the top one third, are you average? Because I don't think they're going to be a top ten to twelve defense. Yeah, I think I would agree with you there. I would agree with you there. McKinnon said, uh, "As much as I love my Falcons, I'm thankful for having my other team be the Chiefs. I don't think there's another team in the league with remotely as good a chemistry, especially with the COVID offseason. I think they end up thirteen and three. Uh, after that, we'll see, but I hope it's another Lombardi. Uh, and then Matt Miller said, three championships in five years is a dynasty. Yes. Um, and then Monster X Gaming that. said, a dynasty could be three years. Just look at the Pats when they win their first three Super Bowls. They were already being called a dynasty. Well, yeah, they won three they, in four but years. they were. They won three in four years. That is, yeah. that is, I think the number is three, and the number has to be three with either. The, I mean, if it takes 10 years to get you three, I think that's fine. you got to not have any real down years. And you need to do it with the same quarterback and coach. Yeah, I, I believe that those are the two components that are the most recognizable for any team. And I'm okay if it took a decade to get there, but but you need the same core in coach and quarterback. Um, and then and then I think you can't be really bad in the in between years to be called a dynasty. You need to consistently at least win the division or make the playoffs every one of those years. Gotcha. Maybe not all of them, but you know what I'm saying. A oh, lot yeah. of them. No, no, I know exactly what you mean. Um, now, let's go. 